Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. This video is sponsored by Islamnet. Donation link in the description and I'm going to play a video at the end. Make sure you watch it. to Jannah. <laughs> Four months ago, I released a video on Dr. Zakir Naik and how he was hounded by the BJP. Why is that? <laughs> no, Ali, they're not a hot sauce. They are the current ruling party of India and they have been causing a lot of issues, especially for the Muslims. A few days ago, Yasir Qadi released a post on his Facebook page claiming that the BJP had visited Zakir Naik and granted him a safe passage back to India, reinstating all of his assets in return of a favour. Zakir Naik was then approached by many outlets in the media asking if this was actually the case. The doctor himself had to release a statement pretty much confirming it. Three and a half months before, the Indian officials, they approached me for a private meeting with a representative from the Indian government. And when he came to Putrajaya in the fourth week of September 2019 to meet me, he said that he is coming after personally meeting and under the direct instructions of the Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi and the Home Minister of India Amit Shah. This raises a few questions. If he was such a threat to India, why on earth would he be allowed to come back no questions asked. Yeah, don't talk with your mouth full, yeah? That is unless he was innocent to begin with. What sort of support were they asking for? I hear you ask. The sister asked a very good question. I'm actually a brother. Well, it's gotta be Kashmir, innit? He told me that he wanted me to support the BJP government when they revoked Article 317 Kashmir and I flatly refused. India prides itself on being the world's biggest democracy. He said, I should not specifically speak against the BJP government and against Narendra Modi. Yeah, well, that's gone down the toilet, isn't it? Now, what's interesting is that they actually thought that this guy could be bribed. <laughs> In fact, it reminds me of this quote. A person who cannot be bought is a very dangerous person indeed. That's why I always say to people, you gotta be educated and you gotta be self-employed or at least employed at such a level that you are not dependent upon other people. Because if that's the case, then you are free. You are a free man, mate. If that's not the case, then modern day slavery, isn't it? So yeah, if you are in a position where you can do courses, where you can learn certain things that will give you independence and freedom from the employer, do it. Dr. Zakir Naik managed to refute the entire BJP in one video, mate. He showed how they are hypocrites, liars, and a threat to India and its secular identity. May Allah bless him and preserve him. He's currently residing in Malaysia. And you know, when you start speaking out against the government, you know how it is. So let's hope he doesn't mysteriously pass away. And may Allah grant us the ability to become flag bearers of this religion and become active in its promotion at a time when let's face it, it is very much needed. All right guys, now I'm going to play this video. Make sure you guys donate. I'll put the link in the description. Enough said. Hope that answered your question. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum guys. You're joining me here today in, need to get this right? No way. As you can see behind me, there's absolutely no indication that I'm in Norway. I could just be in my backyard filming this but I'm not, this is actually Norway. And mashallah, I'm here, the brothers have been looking after me, it's brilliant, but it's very sad that I've been told that we don't have Muslim schools here, we don't have a dawah center, we don't have many facilities for the Muslims of this beautiful country. 
yes it is a beautiful country but it needs to be beautified more with the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said whoever builds a mosque for the sake of Allah Allah will build for him a house in paradise and this is where you guys come in yeah you guys if you don't mind support these brothers and what they're doing and inshallah whatever is established here because they are many years behind countries like the UK and mashallah countries like the UK the Muslims alhamdulillah they're flourishing if you guys invest here in Norway then inshallah in the future wherever it goes wherever you guys will get the reward so inshallah let's make it happen guys enough talk assalamu alaikum